Okay, let's talk about algebra. So what is algebra? What is this all about? Well, we're going to talk about all that in a second. We're going to talk about where algebra starts, and we want to start with some real basic, basic concepts. So this video is just going to start uh, with, you know, it's kind of an introduction to the very, very foundational concepts that anyone can grasp about algebra. Okay, so if you are intending to take algebra, stick around for a couple minutes. Hopefully this will be a good little gentle introduction to the subject. But I'm going to get into all this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, if you are frustrated with mathematics, okay, maybe you, um, you know, math is not your thing. Maybe you've uh, failed a couple math courses. Maybe you just hate math, or maybe you don't feel like you're getting enough instruction, or you're not connecting with your teacher's uh, learning or teaching style. Whatever the case might be, I can help you uh, be successful in math. I've been teaching math for decades. I really break things down in bite-sized pieces so anyone can be successful in mathematics, and I really focus on clear and understandable math instruction. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, that can help you be, uh, be successful in mathematics. Now, if you're preparing for any kind of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Acuplace, or Alex exam, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you absolutely must check out my homeschool math uh, curriculum and program. And if you don't have any math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But I'm here to tell you, whatever math course uh, you're going to be taking, or any subject, uh, even outside of math, science, English, doesn't make a difference, you have to be a great note taker, okay? So the better your notes are, the better your grades will be. So let's get into algebra. Now, how many of you out there um, feel that algebra is, you know, beyond or is this a super complicated thing? I want you to put your initial feelings about what you think of algebra in the comment section. I mean, are you uh, fearful of it? Are you excited about it? Do you think it's like complex? Do you think it's a waste of time? I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to respond to that comment. Be like, yeah, it's a complete waste of time. But here's the thing. Even if uh, you don't want to learn algebra, some of you very well may be required to learn algebra as part of, you know, the means to an end, getting your diploma or getting your degree. You know, it is what it is. So if you have to learn algebra, let's come at it with a good attitude. Okay, so that's the way I, I'm, my philosophy is. If you have to do something you know, uh, your attitude is going to impact how well you learn this material. So let's have a good attitude about algebra and let's get into some basic concepts about it right now. Okay, so uh, when you're in elementary school, okay, and some of middle school, we're really kind of focused on arithmetic. Okay, so things like this, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Now, arithmetic, a lot of us, you know, this basic math, I think, um, have a tendency to uh, downplay it, especially if you're at the middle school, high school, or an adult. You're like, oh, yeah, that was like basic math. Well, guess what? You learned quite a bit of math way back in elementary school, and a lot of this stuff you forgot, okay, like how to deal with decimals. Like if I said 0 0.03 divided by 1.75, well, you were doing homework problems, uh, like this way back for me, this was like the 1970s. And I could still remember, you know, my teachers way back uh, in those days had great teachers. Matter of fact, I remember my first grade teacher because she used to smoke right outside the classroom. I think that was like 1975. Those were the good old days, I guess. <laughs> but that's the way it was. But, you know, you remember back, you're like, hey, how did you learn this basic arithmetic skill? Well, those teachers taught you this stuff. And this is critical. Okay, you need to understand arithmetic. And arithmetic is you know, uh, number operations, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and fractions, two-thirds plus one-seventh, all this kind of good stuff. You're working with numbers, okay? But there's a lot involved in arithmetic, and arithmetic, you know, mastering it is a, um, a prerequisite to being successful in algebra. So let's take a look at uh, something like this. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, right? So we all know this is uh, true. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Well, let's think about a problem we did uh, back in, I don't know, second grade or whatnot, and it looked like this. It was a box plus 3, and that was equal to 5, right? So here's first grade or second grade, and you're looking at this problem, and you're thinking, hmm, okay, what number do I have to 
plug in here and put in this box to get this right. And then we would all think about this. Well, if I plug in one, one plus three, that would be four. That's not right. If I plug in three, and of course here, you know, we're all using our hands here. We're one, two, three, four, five, you know, using the digits. You know, that word digit comes from our, you know, digits of our hands or actually our fingers. And three and three, we're using our fingers. We're like, no, that doesn't work. And then we finally figure out, oh, two plus three, that is five. So you plug in the two, and then your teacher says, you are so smart, little Billy. I'm going to give you a bunch of stars, and you feel great about yourself, right? So those were the good old days. But in fact, you didn't even realize that you were doing algebra when you're you're at that part of your brain, okay? You're trying to figure this out, trying to figure out what number this was to... Uh, uh, get this answer or figure out this problem was indeed algebra. Okay, so in algebra, what we're doing is we're formalizing this type of a problem, and instead of using a box, we're going to start using symbols. Okay, oftentimes little letters like X. So I can uh, write the same problem this way: X plus three is equal to five, and this is the whole kind of um, a big jump from arithmetic to algebra is in algebra we start using what we call variables. I'm going to talk more about variables here in a second, but a variable is a letter, it's a symbol like this little square that represents a number. Okay, so now we're trying to figure this out. Hey, what number plus three is equal to five? Okay, that's a question. All right, it's like, all right. All right. Well, in algebra, we would write this question in terms of something called an equation. And instead of this symbol, we'll use a symbol like this. So we have x plus 3 is equal to 5. And now we have an equation, but the problem is still the same. We're trying to figure out what value, okay, uh, what number does this uh, symbol represent? Okay, what is the correct uh, value for this variable, okay, to make this statement true? So here we have an equation, and then we learn how to solve equations in algebra. So to figure out what x is equal to, we learn techniques how to, like, for example, subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. We get x is equal to 2. Of course, we knew that, that 2 was the right answer. But in algebra, we start learning formal procedures to solve equations, okay, to figure out what is the actual value of these unknown values like x, okay? And, of course, these uh, unknown values we represent by something called a variable. Now, this is an illustration of how we solve an equation in algebra, and if you don't really understand what I'm doing here, don't worry about that. You'll learn this in algebra, and if you need to take um, an algebra course, I offer pre-algebra and beyond in my math help program, and I have literally tons, hundreds and hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel that go over um, a lot of basic uh, foundational algebra concepts and skills. But before we go too far, let's, you know, I just wanted to break down the essence of what we're doing. Okay, we're going from arithmetic to algebra by introducing things called variables, and variables are, are basically placeholders for numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about numbers. So, uh, you know, we have to be very good at numbers, let me go to scoot this down here, to understand algebra. So, uh, basically, when you're in uh, elementary school, we start off, you know, learning about numbers like 1 and 2 and 3 etc. And then zero. And then, in, and then we kind of like mix in some fractions like one half and even some decimals, maybe like right here, 1.5. So we learn all these type of numbers right there. And then somewhere along the line in middle school, you start learning about these numbers, negative one, negative two, negative three, and all these numbers in between these negative uh, numbers right here. Okay. So negative numbers is a big jump. Okay. You have to understand how to work with both negative numbers and positive numbers in algebra. Okay, so if you are, um, you know, struggling with this, again, I have tons of stuff, uh, tons of videos on uh, working with positive and negative numbers, but you have to understand how to do things like, uh, let me go ahead and uh, write something here, like negative 7 plus negative 2, what's that equal to, or 9 plus negative 13, or negative 3 times negative 5. So this is uh, kind of like some prerequisite steps uh, before you can really get heavy duty into algebra is we need to now start understanding more about numbers, okay? Positive and negative numbers and all the rules, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide 
numbers. Now, another thing we need to understand about uh, these various number operations is the order the order of operations, okay? So this is stuff that you were learning back in elementary school, definitely middle school. So if you recall this little saying, PEMDAS, all right, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, that is this uh, little phrase that we use to help us. And let me go ahead and actually write an example. Let's see here. Uh, just making something up. Okay, so let's say I had this uh, particular problem, and if you notice, I have parentheses, I have powers, I have division, I have multiplication. This is actually division, I have subtraction. So I have a lot of different um, kind of mathematical operations going on here. I have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. What do I do first, okay? Well, it you know, you can come up with all kinds of answers here. It all depends on what order you do first. Am I going to do the powers first? Am I going to do division first? Well. Uh, you need to take a specific order to do this problem. Okay, and this is the order of operations. So you're going to be working with both positive and negative numbers. And of course, you have to already know how to work with positive and negative numbers. And then you're going to have to understand the order of operations. So again, we're working a lot with arithmetic in algebra. We're working uh, with more advanced number concepts. Okay, stuff that you may not have uh, studied thoroughly in elementary school, but of course we do need everything we learned in elementary school, primary school, like fractions and decimals, etc. And then we kind of upgrade our knowledge of numbers, and then we really kind of practice how to work with the order of operations, etc. Because we're going to need all this in algebra. Now let's go ahead and wrap it up by talking a little bit about variables. Okay, so we talked about what a variable is. A variable represents a number. So here is a variable x. Now why do I select x? Well, it could be anything. x is just a, a, a value, right? I could have just as easily put a or b. So the difference between a and b are really, there is no difference, okay? These are both variables. They represent a what? They represent a number, okay? So the representation, because this represents a number, all the rules about numbers that I just talked about over here, okay, like the order of operations, positive and negative numbers, apply to variables as well. So when we think about a variable in algebra, okay, you gotta be thinking to yourself, you're like, all right, this is a variable, but it represents a number. So I gotta be thinking about all the number rules and properties of numbers. That's why it's so important that you master arithmetic and all the concepts uh, relevant to numbers before you take on algebra, okay? But X can be uh, one number, Y is another type of numbers, another another type of number, excuse me, um, or another number altogether. Now, what about 2X, right? Well, this means two times X, so the language of algebra, when you have something like this, uh, a number in front of a variable like this, 2X means two multiplied by X. Now, isn't this confusing? 2xx, X. well, this would be the multiplication symbol. Like, let's say I had three times seven. That multiplication operator makes sense. Okay, you could also write that as three times seven. But in algebra, this is way too confusing. This looks like 2xx, X, two x's. So we don't do it that way. We don't write multiplication that way. All we do is just write the number um, uh, like two uh, times the variable. That means 2x. And we can also do the same thing with uh, variables. So X next to a Y means X times Y. Of course, I, I can't, I won't write it this way because this is very confusing, X times Y. So when you have two variables next to one another, two or more variables, and we can have X, Y, Z, this means X times Y times Z. So again, uh, well, in algebra, uh, you have to understand the language of algebra, and this is the very basics of it, okay? So this means x times y, and then here we have x uh, to the y power, so this is just another representation of how we can uh, use variables, all right? So I can use uh, x plus y uh, over z, okay? Let's kind of interpret this real quick. This means one number plus another number divided by yet another number, okay? So remember, in algebra, when you're looking at variables, you're thinking uh, numbers, okay? And that's why we have to be uh, so good at numbers and all the rules, uh, you know, the different type of numbers. And specifically, when you start learning about algebra, we learn something called the real number system in basic algebra, and then you kind of move up from there. 
But the whole idea here is this, okay? If you're going to be taking algebra, all right, and I hope you do as well. And as a matter of fact, I hope you uh, take algebra with me because it's an awesome course. But just don't underestimate how important your basic math skills are. Okay. So if you are rusty with arithmetic, you might want to spend a little bit of time kind of brushing up on things. Matter of fact, I have a uh, what I call a foundations math course. All right. Yeah. If you go to my math help program in my middle and high school. Uh, math section, I have a foundations math course. It's like kind of a little micro course that I go over um, a lot of basic arithmetic stuff that I don't go over in my algebra courses. So if you need a quick refresher on that kind of uh, basic uh, number op, you know, how to do multiplication, division of numbers, and whatnot, hey, for some of us, it's been a while. Like for me, you know, um, you know, elementary school was many, many years ago. So some of you, you know, you may haven't touched, you know, you may not have been uh, uh, actively doing any math for maybe 50 years, 30 years, 20 years, 10 years, whatever the case is. So don't be so hard on yourself if you forgot this stuff. But, you, you know, you definitely need to brush up on your arithmetic before you get into algebra. Okay, so hopefully I did a decent job to get you motivated uh, to take algebra and kind of demystify some of the things that, that algebra is about. And if I did an okay job at least, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to calculus. So please take advantage of all my uh, videos that I've posted and will post, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.